Uh, if anybody wants to talk about anything at any point, just raise your hand or something. <laughs> or if you have to go potty or anything. Well, I swear on my mother's gravy, I didn't lie to you. My name is Mike Kinsella. My band is Owen. Right after I finished college, I sort of quit all the bands I was in and uh, <clears throat> wanted to learn how to record music with Pro Tools. And so I finished like an album and then I decided to call it Owen. So it sort of happened on accident. They said, you need to name this something. Like I turned the album in to have it put out and then they said, you have to call it something. I was like, oh yeah. And then I just thought of a name I liked more than Mike. What was the first Owen show? I think I did, uh, I think I opened up for Ryan and Maria. You know that band? <laughs> there were some friends that were a fantastic band. Um, and they were doing a tour, and I was going to sell their merch. And they, they said, oh, you can just, why don't you play some of those songs that you wrote before us, you know? So as an opening band. It was like me playing with a disc man, CD player. Yes. Probably don't even know what they are. <laughs> I just like hit play on the CD player and it had like six songs and it would play them and I just play along with the guitar and had drums on it. Yeah. You guys want to talk about current events at all? <clears throat> What's on the palm of your hand? It's my set list. <laughs> Do you prefer playing in a band or solo? Uh, playing? I like playing in a band. Like the actual one hour that I'm playing. But the other 23 hours in the day, I like being solo. What's your favorite place to play? My living room. Favorite, Owen, I always like the latest release, sort of. It's the one I can relate to most, so I guess it'd be New Leaves would be the latest one. Um, oh, you know the song, there's a song on there called, well, there's two songs I like on there. There's a couple songs. Uh, maybe Never Been Born, I think it's called. I like that song. I can't even. I can't play it live because it's pretty much one guitar part for like six minutes. It's like live. It doesn't really translate. Yeah. There's like other stuff moving around, but I think the recording that I like a lot. Who are your influences musically? Uh, Jay Mascus from Dinosaur Jr. <clears throat> Who else? Morrissey and Johnny Marr, I guess. The Sundays. It's like an old 90s band that was yeah. amazing. And the guitar player, uh, David Gavarin, I believe is his name. It's sort of like my favorite of all time. Like I'll try writing parts and be like, does that sound enough like David Gavarin or something? Oh, and uh, my buddy Valentine. You wouldn't hear it like some of them in, in what I do, but every song I try to make, I'm like, what would my buddy Valentine like put on top of that? So. Does anybody have any deodorant? <laughs> Really? Yeah. I hit you up later. <laughs> is, is your whole family musical, or is it just you and your brother? Like, do your parents uh, musical? My mom <laughs> plays Christmas songs on the piano. Somehow she's like a robot, and she knows every Christmas song. Um, they only come out at Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, I got. I think I got music from my mom and drinking from my dad. <laughs> I'm guessing. Where do you find your influences for like the majority of your songs? Would you say? Uh, like the, like well, the, musically it'd be those bands, I guess, I named and... But I mean, like, the, <clears throat> lyrically, I guess, would be. I think just, well, it sort of changed. It used to be, like, just sort of going out and being, like, a single guy. Mm -hmm. And now it's sort of, like, going out and being, like, this <clears throat> dad. <laughs> that, that was, like, the, you know, that still sort of mm -hmm. empathizes with being the single guy. The only thing I don't like about being dead is that I have no inspiration for writing songs. Like, I'll sit down and be like, what, what am I going to write about? You know, cartoons that I watched or like, you know, what we ate for breakfast, you know, but... So I like kind of like make a point of getting out uh, every so often, as much as the wife will let me. Just like go and drink by myself somewhere and sort of like find inspiration. I'll jot down notes and then sort of those turn into songs still, so... What do you guys like to do for fun? <laughs> Maybe I didn't know this until I'm like this old sloppy guy that still does this. Maybe the message is like I the more like I kind of keep playing these shows and I keep playing with these bands that are like trying real hard and 
they have a look and stuff. So maybe like my message just from doing it for so long and not really getting anywhere doing it is like just keep doing it though because it's fun to do, not because you think you're going to get somewhere, you know? I think there's like a, a satisfaction when you kind of like come up with something that you like. That, I mean, the, the, I'd say like 99% of the time I can't sleep just because I'm not satisfied for some reason. But like 1% of the time I'll like, if I sit with a guitar and come up with something I like, that's the night where I'll like sleep like a baby, you know, so. Okay. What's in the future for all? Uh, hopefully a new album soon, next fall maybe. And then uh, <clears throat> more cartoons and pancakes for breakfast. you are to me. Don't make me say it over and over again. It's way too late, much too early. You know how I get. And I'm left alone to my vices. When I was a kid That said I'm a bird in your hand So take me as I am And you know what you are to me Don't make me say My left hand, the part of me that stays late to clean up the mess. When I'm sick of all my choices, like the grown ups I grew up with, angels in addicts. around you I mean it When I get drunk and puke on my shoes I mean it When I slam doors cause I'm pissed at you Say I do. I mean it. What you are to me Don't make me say it Over and over again Over and over again Over and over again What advice would you give a musician if they're like trying to, I guess, just make you it? Stop nice. trying. Yeah. Just do what you want to do and enjoy it and enjoy the process. Because uh, maybe there's a few years where I thought maybe something would come from this. 
I mean, it's, I still get to travel and do it like part time, and it's awesome. Like I make a little bit of money, and but uh, yeah, those years weren't fun, you know. Like I was kind of stressed, like oh, there's nobody at the show, blah blah blah. But now I'm like, I just appreciate like being able to come out and play for people and stuff. Oh yeah, these cruises. Oh fuck that. Okay, I'm done. Thanks.